Trying to get through this the very best way we can. We have a, we have a, a bit of a road to go, though. Yeah, without a doubt, Frank. I th I've been pretty impressed with Houstonians' ability to really put together a good snowman. <laughs> I know, right? You know, for never having snow around here, I mean, folks are really, I mean, they're in spring, but yeah. still, if yeah. folks around here, they're really showing up. You don't have a lot of practice. Well, you know, in Texas, we just do it bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah? I love it. That's right. Th this puts it in perspective. Con uh, my neighbor, Connor, and I decided to build a big snowman. So, to put it in perspective, this fella is six feet, six inches tall. Oh, wow. So, that's a, yeah. Yeah. that's a pretty good, that's yeah. probably a good four-foot snowman. With, with the cowboy hat like and the beard. Cowboy hat. <laughs> hat. Only in Texas. Very good. It's perfect. And Snow Angels. Look at that. Yeah. That's in Tom Ball. This little guy's so cute. So, you know, Bill Bayes has just got a new Springer Spaniel. Look at that little jacket, too. Snow Very puppy. Cute. Or uh, uh, King, wait, King James. Uh, was it? I, uh, I think it was. A, it might be King James. He's he's cute. Whatever way, he is. He's cute. cute. <laughs> he's really cute, just like that guy. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, and that's cute. Look at him. Oh, he's crazy. Don't you know? I mean, this is really one of those generational snowfalls. No one will ever forget this. Yeah. Uh, that's even. I mean, over the age of one, I think. This is Iggy. Life is good. <laughs> he's, he's to Alexander and Elizabeth, shocked to find that their elf on the shelf. It was now Elf on a snowy shelf. <laughs> and then nothing like a snowman with a Burberry scarf. Yeah. There you go. That's keeping it classy. I mean, classy with a K. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have hard freeze warnings to noon Tuesday, single digits and teens. Hard freeze 24 below for four or five hours, and then you get a hard freeze. Obviously, that's what's happening. I've mentioned, I don't know what you do for your pools. They need to circulate. And then if you're without electricity, then that's tough. But this advice came in from one of my admiral friends, Bill Rouse, down in Galveston. If the pool water level is below the equipment, open the strainer basket access. The water will drain out of the pump and the pipes and into the pool. So you're just using gravity basically to open it up and let that water go into the pool. So at least it's not in the pipes where it could obviously explode and, and bust the pipe, expand, I should say, and bust the pipe. So wind chill warnings uh, to noon Tuesday. That's as low as 15 below that we're looking at across so much of the state. I mean, even in to Mississippi and Alabama and the panhandle of Florida, on the other side of that, that red you see are tornado watches that are in effect. So these temperatures from 3, 6, 13, Dallas is at 13, Austin's at 22, and with these winds right out of the northwest, 18, 20, 9, 18 miles per hour, the feels like temperatures at 18 below zero, 4 under, 6 below, and then 4 in San Angelo, one below in Little Rock. It's cold out there. Even New Orleans getting it now. It's winter storm warning that's just been issued this afternoon. That's from midnight Tuesday to 6 a.m. Thursday. It's mostly about Wednesday, to be honest, but that during the day on Wednesday, that's the load that's going to push across. And so as it does, that cold air that's coming in here, that meets each other, and that gives it the lift and the cold. And so you get some definite winter precipitation, Austin, into our area around College Station. I don't know that any will come into Houston, but a Cold rain is still going to be a big problem when it gets to the surface, that's for sure. And then this continues to move off to the northwest into Louisiana and then off and away. There may be a little pop of precipitation that tries until 6 a.m. Thursday, but not much, and the models are becoming less impressed by that. Uh, in fact, I'm not really impressed with any accumulation for us. I think it's just the fact that anything you put on these cold roads and bridges and overpasses is going to freeze and make traffic even more horrendous than it already is. So there's a look outside right now. 26 north-northwest winds at 22. Dew points at 14 right now. There's a look at Galveston. Snow on the beach. It looks like some of it's trying to, you know, at least melt. And the road looks pretty good. Seawall Boulevard there. The, the problem is going to be anything that's there that's liquid is going to freeze tonight, and that will cause you to slip. 27 right now. Northwest winds at 16. 17 in Huntsville, 19 in Katy, 21 in Tomball, 23 at Bush and Sugarland, and it feels more like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 14. The only reason Katy's at 19, I think their wind gauge uh, froze because uh, everyone's got a strong northwest wind and they've got nothing. Uh, so uh, clearly the wind gauge isn't working there, so that's why they don't have a big wind chill. But I can assure you if you're in Katy, you're feeling a strong wind. 15, 21, 22 miles per hour, gusting to 30.
22, 30, 18 down in Galveston. Not much wind right there for the moment, but don't worry, you'll get it. Uh, 4.30 then, as we go into the um, evening, we do see the winds diminish so that we are at 9, 10 mile per hour winds. And then overnight, 4, 5 mile an hour winds, which is great. Uh, and even into the afternoon, but 4, 5 mile an hour wind is all you need to make the cold temperatures that are going to be 8, 10 degrees feel even colder. And this brings us to the temperatures. As we go through the evening, we're like 10, 13, 14 at 10, 10, 30 tonight, 12 in Liberty. And then as we go into the overnight, 0, 1, 2, 1 below, 8 at Bush, 10 downtown, 11 in Pearland, 6 in Sugarland, 3 in Katy. And then into the afternoon, upper 20s, maybe above freezing, at least in spots. And then as we go into Wednesday morning, and remember, Tuesday midnight, so early Wednesday morning, that's when we get this potential for some frozen precipitation. But you'll notice that we're generally above freezing, at least I-10 and south. So that's why I say a cold rain is more likely than anything else coming out of this. The wind chills on Tuesday morning, tomorrow morning, 12 below, 2 below, 9 below. Five below. I'm not sure. You know, there's some point of diminishing returns where it's just all cold, right? Whether it's eight or ten or twelve, it's just miserable. Uh, Tuesday wind chills will continue to be about five degrees below. This stretch of freezing temperatures continues. I just mentioned this a minute ago. 10, 28, 30, 24, 34. We had a 12-day stretch in 1940. We had a nine-day stretch in 1982. We had a six-day stretch in 1989. So this isn't as long of a stretch, but I tell you, it's just as cold. That that's for sure. It's going to continue to be that way tomorrow. It may warm up, relatively speaking, as we head into Wednesday, but more precipitation chances. So that's going to be an issue, especially by third Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So that period uh, for more traffic problems and then warming up finally on Friday. So here's a look at the forecast. I've got 10 to 30, 28 to 40, 30 to 38, 24 on Friday, and then finally 46. And then we are in absolute heaven with 60s and 70s for highs and 50s for lows. But we are far away from those days, unfortunately. It's going to feel like a warm hug when we get there. <laughs> and 1940 can keep its record. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, five degrees on yeah. January 23rd, 1940. That was at Hobby. Uh, Bush Intercontinental was not around yet, but so that's the, the reading that we have from Hobby. So, uh -huh. And, you know, and who knows? We didn't take lots of readings like we do now. Certainly, folks north and west of Houston on that day when we were at five at Hobby, and that's southeast. So certainly uh, Conroe and Huntsville and out to uh, Brenham could have gotten easily to... Sure. Uh, below zero for yeah. sure all right frank all right. we appreciate the update thank mm -hmm. you all right we'll tell you here